Hi there, you're watching the Gardens and Graveyards channel. My name is Charisma and today we are hanging out in the studio and we're going to do a little succulent uh, rejuvenation. So uh, about a year ago I put together these, the succulent arrangement. And I picked this adorable little vessel up from Andrew Seeds in Ontario, Oregon. Um, it was my little memento of visiting the town that Laura and Erin from Garden Answer live in. And I went to their parents, or Laura's parents' uh, nursery. I picked up a, um, a couple of little things in this one. Um, it was a, just a fun memento that I got to pick up there. And then I got some succulents to put in there, uh, but as you can see, they have outgrown their space. And, and they're just, really. And then this is a little terrarium that I made a couple of years ago. The plants aren't doing that great, so I thought I would just give them all a new home. Um, so what I'm gonna be doing here, is I've got this black gold sun grow uh, succulent and cactus potting soil and I'm just gonna this is a it basically it's a drip dish right for a, a clay pot but it's a nice good size it's about 15 inches and maybe one and a half to two inches deep it does not have any drain holes in it but the nice thing about terracotta is it is very porous so so long as I don't overwater anything um, as long as we don't overwater anything it'll be perfectly fine to use uh, as a as a little propagation dish all right so we don't want to Fill it too high because we do want it to hold the water if I do water it. Alright, we could do this one of two ways. We could just use scissors, we could use our pruners, we could also use snips, but uh, apparently my snips are somewhere else. So, we're probably just gonna go with scissors. I'm gonna carefully remove all of these items and decide what's gonna go in here. This is just gonna be for propagation. So I've got this little guy, it's a whole plant. Set it off to the side. I've got this little guy, which is a tiny plant kind of struggling. So I'm just gonna put her right in here. It's still really small. And then it's got a leaf. So these leaves can just be set down on the side like this and it will callus and dry and then send a root down. So I'm gonna do that with all of these, all these ones, cause you can see how poor they are. Um, just no longer in a good shape. There's a little plant trying to grow. Let's let it do that. I could just pop these off, really. And you don't want to put the raw edge directly in the soil because it needs to callus. So we're just going to lay it on top of the soil. Okay, do the same. This guy can just come out and I'm gonna keep her as a full plant. This is kind of doing the same thing. Just 
not doing super great as a plant so I'm just gonna remove all the leaves and set it here half the problem is I keep forgetting about it so it's not getting water the other half of the problem is I filled this too full so when I do water it the water just spills over so that's something to be aware of and careful of Okay, and the rest of these look kind of crummy, so we're just going to leave that to the side. Take this one out. Take off all the crunchy ones. You can see they're just like falling off of here. The ones that are really limp and not nice and uh, I don't know what to call it it's, they're like dissected I'm not gonna try to propagate those they're not healthy so I just want to try to propagate the ones that are good and healthy Okay, and then you can always just snip off the top of this here. Maybe take off these bottom ones and stick this stem down in the middle. Make it a little smaller. We'll use every last one. Okay, so that's going to do it for this piece. That doesn't look very good either. And I'm just going to give it all a little tiny, tiny drink. And call it good. There's no reason propagation can't look absolutely adorable. I love making little designs out of leaf propagations. It just makes it that much more enjoyable to watch and see how they do. All right, let's move all this stuff. Okay. So I went ahead and took
took it all out because it was pretty packed in there. So now I'm just going to go ahead and use this cactus and succulent soil. This pot does have a little hole in the bottom. And it has a built-in drip tray. It does not come off. Uh, so it, it'll hold a little bit of water. I'm going to go ahead and pop this guy right back in here. I'm going to start removing the plants in this terrarium and placing them in here. Just go ahead and water these in just the tiniest, tiniest bit, uh, just to get a little bit of moisture into the soil. Not too much because there was a decent amount of so uh, moisture in the soil in the bag. So that's going to do it for today. We'll clean this out and do a new terrarium um, arrangement in it sometime this winter might reuse the moss who knows rocks but overall really exciting I'll keep you updated on how these succulents do I don't expect to get a hundred percent germination but I should get you know a few new plants off of these leaves so I hope you enjoyed this I hope you're celebrating your life and I will see you in the next video bye